Hey everyone, so today I kind of wanted to talk about a topic that I don't really see a lot of vegan YouTubers talking about. You know, there's videos on what to eat and education about veganism and you know what happens to animals and all that kind of stuff. But then it's like, what do you do when you already know all that stuff and you're already eating like that and you have to deal with what is happening into the world in the world. And I've had my journey through this, uh, learning how to deal with animal cruelty and just still being able to be as happy and positive as I can be with knowing that. So I'm gonna quickly start off and just tell you kind of my story of dealing with all of this. Uh, so no tips yet. It might be boring, I don't know. Um, you can watch it, okay. <laughs> uh, and then if you don't wanna know my story, you just wanna know the tips, then skip to this time. <laughs> and then that's when it'll begin, okay. So, I became vegan about a year and a half, a year and a half ago, and I became vegan because I saw a video on animal cruelty. And at first I kind of didn't really look at that, all that stuff. I was just focusing on what I needed to eat because I knew I wanted to make a change. But then I started researching into it more. And when I research something, I just don't stop. <laughs> so there would be nights where like I would find these horrible videos, the footage, behind the scenes, but I would literally look at every single video on YouTube of animal cruelty and I don't know why I did it to myself, but that's what I did. And I saw a lot of horrible stuff that had scarred me forever. <laughs> the worst was like the skinning alive of animals and like the experiments, scientific experiments. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I read too much, so that's how I work. But that left me like three or four, like half a year of literally being depressed. It was kind of like a mixture of a lot of things because I was not really the happiest. It wasn't the happiest point in my life due to other factors as well. But on top of that, knowing what is going on in this world, like I was shocked. I never knew that this stuff happened. On top of that, that like just pushed me because I'm pretty, like I'm pretty sensitive when it comes to, you know, people being hurt. I'd rather I hurt myself be in pain rather than someone else be in pain because I'm in more pain knowing that they're in pain. So yeah, it was pretty bad. I would research how do you deal with this stuff and I didn't really come across a lot of help in that point. I was like, I didn't really have any vegan friends or anything or, you know, my parents weren't vegan at that time. My sister was vegetarian so that was kind of good, but like, plus on top of that being, you know, ridiculed for being vegan, it was not a really good place to be. But now I am in a great place. So now I want to share with you my tips and how I kind of, not accepted because you can never really accept, just being able to live with it and still being happy and not letting it take over your life. So let's get on to the tips. What you should do, my friends, is stop watching the negative videos, okay? If you're following these people, you know, I. it's good to be informed of what's happening, but I've noticed for my life it's not beneficial. I don't need to look at the new thing that happened this week where animals were being hurt or something like that or learn all this new stuff and watch all these videos of animal cruelty. Like it's not gonna help me, it just made me suffer and humans are animals too. If you're losing motivation to be vegan then I think you should watch it again just to, you know, rekindle that fire. But I know for a fact that I'm going to be vegan for the rest of my life and I don't need to watch that because I already know what I'm doing. It is a good thing that this is stirring up emotion in your life and making you think and feel because that's what the animals need. So if you're feeling this way, use that to actually make a difference or do something for it. So I just started making videos about veganism because I thought that's, a, that's an easy, I'm already on YouTube, that's an easy thing for me to do to help out the animals. Um, even if you're just vegan, that's good enough, whether that be doing stuff in your school, trying meat, meatless Mondays or whatever at your school or posting, making posters or I don't know, just somehow getting involved in vegan communities. So another thing is you have to have hope. I think that's with everything, with every kind of issue there is in the world. You have to believe that there can be a difference, even though I don't even know how many times I've heard people say, no, the world will never go vegan. Yeah, even if people are saying that to you, you have to still have hope. I do, no matter what people say, I think that there will be a vegan world one day, and I really hope so because I see <laughs> the 
community of vegan people doing their work and how passionate they are about it. So along with hope comes uh, getting involved with people similar to you. Yeah, when I used to just look at those animal cruelty videos, I was basically all alone, but I was making myself all alone. I didn't know that there was other people like me. But know that there is a lot more people and the way you can even get connected is through YouTube. There's so many like vegan activists on YouTube that, you know, spread the message or, you know, do the what I eat, like the lifestyle vegans, like even just watching them, you feel connected to that community. And Or you can actually go to vegan meetups, uh, veg fests, that kind of thing. There's like festivals, food festivals, go to animal sanctuaries and just hang out with the owners there and all the animals and actually feel a part of something. Gary Yarofsky to explain this because he says it perfectly, so here we go. Because whatever I'm going through, or whatever you as an activist are going through, is nothing compared to what the animals are going through. In the slaughterhouse, in the vivisection lab, at the circus, at the zoo, at the rodeo, that stuff is purely evil. You have to keep on going for them. I don't know how else to say it. I don't have a magical formula, magical solution uh, to make you not become frustrated, not become stressed out. It goes with the territory. Enlightenment is bittersweet. I've told this to a lot of people. It is bittersweet. Focus on the positive side of veganism. I used to always focus on, you know, animals, animals, animals. But recently this year, I just wanted to just bring more positivity. So I created like my Instagram, which is all food. And I'm focusing on, you know, the bright and the happiness and the fun side of veganism, the colorful food, the colorful, you know, scenery and adventure and people and just focusing on the fun part. And that makes me happy because that's what I want in my world. So another thing that I've actually kind of learned and created for myself, it's really hard to explain. Um, essentially, like, ignorance is bliss. Like, even when I knew what was happening to the animals, I didn't really let it take over. Like, if I were to talk to someone about veganism, I think the best way is just to show them video. This is kind of another video, how to deal with people who eat meat. Sometimes you just got to let it go. <laughs> Don't get angry every time you see someone eat meat. Like, I just kind of just block it out. All my friends at school eat meat. I'm just, you can't really do anything. You can't literally force people to switch, so I'm still gonna have a good time and hang out with my friends and, you know, not bring everything towards veganism. You Sometimes you just can't let it take over your life. Still, you know, do what you can and live normally. Like, don't get upset every single time you see something because you were once, well, I was once, a meat eater too, and I didn't think twice about anything either. So it's not really doing anyone any good if you're internally getting angry. It's just hurting yourself. Have other interests, have other hobbies uh, that you can do because if animal cru cruelty really like gets you that upset, you don't want it to be your, on your mind 24-7. You want to be doing other things that make you happy and let you have fun and make you forget about you know all the horrible stuff that are happening in the world because there's also a lot of great stuff that are happening in the world. There's a lot of change going on and I think that this like with the media and the internet, I think that that is helping veganism grow exponentially because, you know, we never used to have YouTube, but now so many people are exposed to the videos. So essentially it's a good thing that there are animal cruelty videos because it's helping people to realize the truth. So yes, that is everything. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and we'll work on becoming a happy vegan. Bye!